Judy Vitale, astrologer for ReadTheStars.com, and I'm here to talk about December 10th, 2011, which is a huge day in astrology. We're going to have two major events. The first one that's going to occur will be Uranus going direct after a long period of retrograde motion where it appears to have been moving backward. During that time, Uranus has not been possibly as effective as it has been, I'll say, earlier in the year, around March, April, when we certainly heard of a lot of sudden and violent events and earth changes and all kinds of things going on um, uh, around that time. It is now almost back to the point where it was um, in March of 2011 when it first entered the sign of Aries and crossed over the cardinal axis. The cardinal axis is a point that tells us about what's happening to the whole planet. It is the point that points at all four of the cardinal signs, Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. And um, because Uranus is there, it's going to be starting things and sort of creating trouble. We've had Pluto there already, and we've seen the economic world to sort of dissolve and be changed um, in a way that we thought was minor at first. And we've pretty much assessed at this point is rather major. There are things going on in Europe, there are things going on in Afghanistan and Pakistan, there may be some seismic events, I'm particularly concerned about the Pacific Rim, of course, specifically New Zealand, that's the part that looks to me to be the most sensitive at the moment. Um, Hawaii is also a possibility, and um, I'm not a psychic per se, and that like I'm not a seer, I'm not a prophet, I'm merely someone here to tell you what the weather is going to be like. And this day, December 10th, 2011, in my opinion, is going to be rather shaky. The one thing that can save us and make it just a little bit easier will be Mercury retrograde. And let me give you an example. When we had 9-11, um, which was horrible and devastating, of course it was. I was there and I can attest to that. It could have been much worse. Some of it was stopped. Some of it didn't happen, okay? And that could have been because Mercury was retrograde, and it is now Mercury retrograde. So it is possible. A lot of us astrologers thought because Mercury was retrograde, the plans that were made could not go forward. I'm somewhat concerned again because I see the same degrees of the zodiac rising at the point when you, you cast the chart for the eclipse especially, for Washington, D.C., it comes at 14 degrees of Libra. And um, that, I'm sorry, it's for the Uranus station. For the Uranus station, it's 14 degrees of Libra. And that does not make me a happy person <laughs> because it's, um, it's the same degree that was rising at 9-11 at the time that the planes were going through the buildings in New York and, you know, in the Pentagon or whatever it is. That violence that took place, that was what the rising degree was. So I also see Mars in the 12th house when we cast the Uranus station for Washington, D.C. Something about a hidden enemy and a violence from a hidden enemy. So, you know, there are just a lot of things to be concerned about. Keep yourself safe. Keep yourself prepared. And keep yourself prepared, especially spiritually. That's what's most important. Be at peace with yourself. Be at peace with those around you. If you need to work something out with someone, work it out. You don't have to be best friends with everybody, but you do have to respect them, and you do have to also declare your own space around you. There's been a lot of that going on lately, especially, you know, with, Mar with Mars and Virgo and, and people working very hard. They're trying to, you know, set their own territories aside. So there's just a lot going on right now. And the other thing is to stay calm. Now, I have put up daily horoscopes for Saturday, December 10th. I am going to put them in an article attached to this video on the website, www.readthestars.com. And you can go there and look at them because it has a little bit more than just what's going to happen on Saturday. It's advice about how to handle this time for you, for your sign, and your individual life. Because that's important, too. If you have any questions, comments... I know everybody is a little nervous and everybody's a little scared, but, you know, we will get through it. We will be fine. I promise. And I'll see you soon. Okay? You can reach me at Judy, J-U-D-I, at readthestars.com.